Welcome to October's Leetco Challenge. Today's problem is rotate list. Given the link to list, rotate the list to the right by k places, where k is a non-negative. If we're given the list 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and a k of 2, we're going to shift it 2 times so that 4 is now the head and 3 is the tail. You can see how it's done in the explanation. Similarly, if we're given a list 0, 1, 2, and a k of 4, we're going to shift it 4 times. Now it's going to be almost like we only shifted it actually one time. Uh, because it gets shifted three times, looks exactly like it did before, and then it gets shifted once. So now two is the head and one is the tail. So given the explanation, we might be tempted to write an algorithm to restructure this linked list each time by getting the tail, shifting it to the head, and making it um, point to the head, and doing that k number of times. But don't be fooled by this explanation. Really, there's no reason to do this k times. All we need to do is figure out at which point in this linked list do we need to restructure our, our, our linked list so that it whatever we're pointing at is now going to be the head and everything else needs to be shifted to the um, to, to its right. So basically say we're given like this list here uh, what we want to do is we are going to go through this linked list and figure out how many n there are. Right, and the reason for that is once we know what the length of this linked list is, it becomes very easy to figure out how many times, like which linked, which node is going to now be the head. So say that we have five and we're given like k of seven or something like that. We know that we need to shift everything to the right three times so that three is now going to be the head, right? So how do we do that? Um, well, if we were pointing at three right now and we want to say, hey, we want this to be the head, all we need to do is take that previous node, make it point to a null, and make this new node be the head, right? And that would be it. But the one problem here is that what about the five here? Like we need this five to still point to all the way back circularly to the one. So we'd have to go down all the way to here and then point that to the very head. But how about this? In the very first pass, we are going to make this a circular linked list we'll make five at the very end point to the head and that's going to be circular. Now it's fine because we still have the head um, initialized somewhere. And after that, then we can go through our linked list and find which node we need to restructure. Say that's three here. Take this previous node, make it point to a null and make this three now the new head. So at the second pass, or well, first pass we should say count n and we should also make circular and at the second pass we are going to make the previous node point to null and the new node be the head okay so that's going to be our our approach so the very first thing we want to do is well if not head return head and i should also say if uh or not head.next because either way if there is nothing there or if there's only one node there's nothing to be shifted so we just return it back now we need to do our first pass and count n and also make this circular right so how can we do that all right well let's first make a current pointer um, make that point to a head and we'll also initialize n and make that equal to one uh, because i'm going to assume that this is like a regular array and make this zero indexed so n needs to start at one so while cur.next, we are going to increase our n by 1. And we'll make cur equal to cur.next. And this is going to keep pointing our pointer to the next node until there's no nothing left. And that should give us the proper n. And what we'll also need to do is say, hey, our current pointer is now pointing at the last node. Make that next equal to head. So now it's going to be circular. Okay, great. So we've done that. Now we need to figure out which node do we need to point to to restructure this, make the previous node point to null and make the new node head. So how do we get that number? Okay, well, I'm going to call that m. And that's basically just going to be a modular function, right? We have to get n and subtract it by the k modular n. Because this is the k can be greater than n. We need to figure out how many times can we go circularly and just figure out how many times we shift in that last, I guess, 
cycle, uh, and we need to get the um, the list index number. And that's just going to be n minus whatever number we count over here, right? And now we have m, so that's going to be the number we need to point at, kind of like the list index of the new head, right? OK, so now we could do, finally, our restructuring. OK, so what do we need to initialize? We need to initialize a index number and make it i equals 0. And we'll also re put our head cur to head. So while, let's say, i is less than m, what do we need to do? Well, first, we need to make sure that we um, store our previous node somewhere, right? So we'll say prev .cur previous will equal the current, and cur will now up be updated to the current.next. And we'll also increase our i. And once we're here, now we're at the new node that's going to be the head. We're going to make previous dot next equal to none. So that's not that that's going to be the tail now. And the new head is going to be equal to cur. Finally, we just return our new head. All right, so let's see if this works. And it looks like it's working. Let's submit that. And there we go, accepted. So this could definitely be, well, as far as optimization goes, it's an O of n time complexity, and it's basically constant space. So we can't really optimize any further than this. We can certainly make this code look a little prettier and cleaner. There's probably better ways to do it. Uh, but the real key here is to figure out that we don't need to do this whole rotating n or k times because we're going to be doing a lot of unnecessary work then. We just need to figure out what is going to be the last state of this uh, k at the very end, and then just say, make this new node to the head and make the last one into the tail. All right, so that's it. Thanks for watching my channel. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.